What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel too with Prolific Breed. I'm in the fish room right now with the UNS tank that I turned into a frag tank with the AquaClear 70 and the Ocean Box Design Skimmer. Now I put some rocks in here from the lagoon and you can see right there I saw a couple of bubble algaes on the rock and I kind of just left it alone just to see what would happen in here and it looks like the bubble algae just took off and it's taking over that um, frag racks anemone bowl and it's kind of kind of wanted to do an experiment see how far it would go and do a video on how to remove bubble algae so there are three ways to remove bubble algae one is manually by hand you remove it while doing water changes and while you're doing the water change you put the hose right next to it with the, the water siphoning out just in case if you pop any of the bubbles the spores would just get sucked out of your system so it doesn't spread anymore um, the second way is to dose the tank let me see where I have this it's pretty expensive the stuff called um, vibrant I've done it before and it looks like the the chemical just slowly melts away the algae but um, the third way I want to try for this video is to release some emerald crabs right where the bubble algae is and let them consume all of the the bubble algae now I, I've done this before in my Lagoon 25 I placed in two crabs and within a week they cleaned everything off so I'm going to put the crabs into the bowl right there and just kind of target them onto this rock and we'll come back in a week or two and see how everything looks. So I have one right here. I'm going to put them right on the rock so I could go to work. <laughs> I got the second one right here. I'm gonna put them right in the bowl. They kind of scurry off, but we'll come back in a week or two to check up on the bubble algae, see if it's decimated. What's up guys, welcome back. It's been three weeks since adding in the two emerald crabs um, with the UNS frag tank. It's running off of an aqua clear 70 just packed filled with um, pond matrix and I got this skimmer attachment from Ocean Box Designs if you guys want to build something similar I'll leave links down in the description but this is my simple frag tank so far I haven't changed any water out of this tank it's just easy coral so you see Xenia in there um, some different types of green star polyps um, GSP for short and I have some frags of leathers in there as well and one more thing is I have a cloves rainbow cloves in there trying to grow it out just as a backup um, over here I have mushrooms in the baskets with um, pond matrix just let them be and um, if they want to attach to any of the pond matrix they can do that and split whenever they want to but I wanted to give you guys an update on the bubble algae so there's two pieces this rock right here and this anemone bowl from refrax they were both um, filled with bubble algae two weeks ago and I added in the emerald crabs two of them you can see one in between right there just hiding out between the two baskets 
they've been doing a very good job at the surface on top I don't see any bubble algae at all but I want to reach in there and turn everything upside down just to inspect how they're doing oh wow this piece is pretty much cleared of bubble algae let me focus in for you uh, two weeks ago this entire section right here was filled with bubble algae also all around the bowl had bubble algae as well it's pretty much picked clean within two weeks let's put that back and let's check the rock oh wow this is picked clean as well I can still see a couple pieces here and there see if we can focus man so hard with one hand get it right here so right there right in the center you can see two pieces of bubble algae and that's pretty much it I'll leave it in there so they can pick it off as well but this entire rock was filled with bubble algae I'll do a before and after video so you guys can see but I think emerald crabs are a great source for a cleanup crew better than um, hermit crabs because um, the hermit crabs you need to provide empty shells for them so as they grow they um, look and seek for larger shells to get into and if you don't provide that they would just kind of be vulnerable and kind of die off uh, with the bubble algae there's three ways to remove it you can remove it uh, manually um, when doing water changes and siphoning out the bubbles um, just in case if they break the spores kind of spread out throughout the tank and cause more bubble algae so you want to have this uh, siphon right next to the bubbles as you're kind of scraping and picking at it the second way is to use chemicals I know that vibrant kind of melts away the bubble algae uh, I could only find vibrant on eBay and it's pretty expensive for a little bottle it's like $20 or you could go the natural way that I know of adding in the emerald crabs I added two they're usually around five dollars on um, live aquaria at my LFS it's about eight dollars each I really think you only need one in my case but I added in two just to let them get the job done and I'll probably move the other one to the Red Sea Reefer soon but yeah guys I just wanted to give you an, an update on the bubble algae issue I shot the video two weeks ago um, showing how much bubble algae I had and right now it's just the update if you like my tips be sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one bye